Anna Alouette is a VTuber from the company of Niji Sonji, specifically Niji Sonji EN. She is one of the various members of the third wave Etheria. This will be important later. Many Niji fans are well accustomed to her and her antics. Even since debut, she was cracking rather interesting jokes. However, what if I told you under the surface lies the truth of this cynical songbird? One thing Anna is most known for, and for good reason, is her hypnotizingly good singing. She and her team work day and night to produce various covers and originals. Now you may be wondering how this begins to tie into everything. Let me explain. If you are knowledgeable in Anna's lore and totally not just reading the wiki as I write this, you'll know that Anna is tasked to heal human hearts through singing. This is in the hope that one day her heart too will be healed. But what if I told you that all of this was a way to sugarcoat to heaven that she was actually hypnotizing anyone who sought to listen to her songs? To back this up, her lost days see shot to corrupt heaven. Obviously, you can't just simply walk into heaven and corrupt it without backup, without maybe something of 8 billion people. In short, the reality is that she is trying to put as many of us as possible in a trance with her angelic voice so she can control us by her commands. She's already hypnotized us to believe she has a 32 out of 10 personality. Though completely unbiased, of course, this holds true. More importantly, along with her songs, her streams are a more simple and easy way to attract her owl peeps, or dare I say, followers, in the religious sense. Once again, my sources come in to help explain my theory. You see, whilst officially her fans are known as the Alu Peeps, they also call themselves, however you pronounce this, at least in China they do. According to my sources, this description is a means of trying to express their love and, re and religious following of Enna, the fans themselves being her disciples, a whopping near 800,000 of them. You may think, well that might just be ironic, or just an over the top way to say they love Anna and what she does, but with everything I've presented thus far, this does not further confirm my theory. She's already hypnotized many to follow in her, her in a religious kind of way, and these now disciples will go out and introduce Anna to non-believers in hopes of converting them. Now not only were her songs or streams hypnotized people, but her own alley peeps can do the dirty work for her while she's away. With this, the main idea of the theory is realized. This is how she plans to first overthrow the country in which she resides, Canada. On her latest outfit reveal, she even went as far as to make a flag for her new nation, Canada. With the help of her owl peeps, and maybe even her close friends in Etheria, she will either peacefully overthrow the Canadian government through sheer numbers, or she'll have to fight for the throne, calling all owl peeps to the battlefield. This is only phase one of Anna's second coming, i.e. her coming back to heaven to finish the corruption she started. After Canada has fallen, she will then evade the United States. Anna will use anything in means of taking out the US, as the US will not go down easy. The battle, however, will be ultimately in Anna's favour, as she has acquired too many Arab peeps for the US military and civilian population to defend on their own. With this, her Canadian empire expands, and she soon renames Washington DC to Alouette DC. Now, with the US and Canada fallen, Anna will slowly creep around the world for total world domination. 
with some owl peeps already around the world, coming out of the woodwork and taking and holding territories while they wait for Anna and the main forces to arrive. After taking over the entire world, her hope is that Heaven will surely hear about what's going on, and soon enough, Heaven too will come down to Earth and confront Anna Alouette. And this is as far as my theory goes. If Anna wins, she can corrupt the Heavens, and the Universe will be in her very hands. But if she loses, she is most likely banished to the Hell where she once was already. Anna can't allow the latter to happen at any cost. Her war must be won. <laughs>